know I'm stuck in this tin can, and all I have got to listen to is this prank call show. Your problem. The Snowplow Show. It's a lie. It's not about Snowplows, it's about prank calls, and I hate it. What the fuck is this? R-E-E-F we be touching tones, calling phones We rip from Craigslist, systematic prank machine It's never been better than this Feeling fine, die your line, you don't know what the facts is Running strong for 20 years, cactus Cactus This ain't a game, playing on these phones Roy gets a little boner every time he hears the dial tone Just like when I see there's a brand new upload We eat, sleep and listen to the snowplow show I My name is Sensei Doug, I happen to know Tai Chi See you giving snake eyes and we're gonna have a disagreement Call you morning, night or evening If we hack your voicemail, we call it an achievement If you laugh, try your best to conceal it When the number's disconnected, we know it's a bereavement Shit Please hang up and give a moment of silence Message PLA PLA Old man story mode Cactus, cactus Hi, my name is Roy, I'm calling from the corporate office Sorry that you're busy, but the problem we got is The server's gone wrong, your sales don't exist We're gonna need you to go out back Am I supposed to be doing this? Yes, find the breaker box One by one we need them switches all flicked off It's normal if the lights go out, in and around the shop Keep on flicking switches till the phone cuts off Plunge into darkness, we are the master artists The tools are starting, the funny parts I can hear us laughing, but still make sure they power down Every switch in this bitch cause a mass confusion For every single department, PLA making every mark Open the fuse compartment Bro, you got some balls, mister Oh no! No, I can't do that, sir, sorry <laughs> uh, No, it's okay, I'm calling from the corporate office Snowplow show Hey everybody, this is the Snowplow Show, episode 801. I'm your host, Brad Carter, and this one is brought to you by Matt Chu, Jose T, 12 Annuals, apostrophe S, yes, I don't know, Salt Teddy, and Lil Uzi Vert. They all support the show over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers, and that's where you should go right now too. And also support the show. You'll get an extra show every week. Sometimes it's a good show. All right, let's see. Announcements. There's going to be a meetup this year, September 10th. Or maybe 9th and 10th. I don't know. I'm going to be there, though. Wasted Memory will be there. I think Jihad said he'll make it. Dragon Mirror will be there. Hopefully, I'll put a link in the show notes to that. Once again, Jihad is putting out brand new Reasonable Sanity podcast videos on his YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck. People are complaining at me because his URL has changed. But I think it's easier to say Jesus in a dump truck than COMC videos. So whatever. They never stop using your old YouTube URL, do they? I don't think they do. I was on Devin's show tonight. We did a bunch of pranks together. We got some dick slaps from Roy Sipians. That's the reason it's uh, approaching midnight and I'm still recording my show. Thanks a lot, Devin. But if you want to listen to that, I'll hopefully have a link in the show description. It's like getting a whole other two hours of this show, except Devin's on it too. I think that's it for the intro, the announcements, and all that. We need to do some prank calls. But first, I want to play this beautiful gospel song that Devin found on TikTok. Well, the devil's in the phone booth, dialing 911. Well, the church is on their knees, and they're loading up the spiritual gun. Well, the devil thought he had us, but the tables are turned. And now he's on the run. The devil's in the phone booth, phone booth, dialing 911. My whole life has changed since the Lord saved me. I proclaim the mighty name of Jesus Christ to everyone that I see. You know the keys to the kingdom are the secret to success. To lose the Holy Ghost and the Son. The devil's in the phone booth, phone booth. Dialing 911. Broadway Inn. Hello, ma'am. I'm a, I'm a guest here in the hotel. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that all the, the outlets are, well, I mean, just a couple of the electrical outlets were ungrounded. Ungrounded? 
Yeah, like, uh, you know, they didn't have a ground wire hooked up. So I, I took the plugs out of the walls and, uh, you know, I cleaned them up and everything and wired them back up and uh, put them back in. They're grounded now. It's much safer. Uh-huh. But do you know where the, um, like, where's our, where's the breaker box? Is there one in my, in each room? Um, no, there, there isn't. Um, it would be in our maintenance area. Where's that? I need to go in there. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't believe that you're allowed to go into our maintenance area. Oh, it's cool. I know what I'm doing. I, I have, I brought a bunch of tools with me. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think that that's, um, plausible at the moment. Uh, what if, what if I, what if I tripped the breaker and I've shut off power to my entire wing of the hotel. Then I would send our maintenance man to the maintenance area to perform maintenance. You have a maintenance man here right now? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Could you send him up? What what room are you in? 215. That's not a room number. How are your room numbers? Are they well, You should What do you mean? Aren't they three digits? You, you don't know what room you're in? I, I'm in the bathroom right now, to be honest. You don't, what's your name? Well, I mean, what like what format are your room numbers? Are they four digits? Because if so, it's, it's, uh, no, it's probably one, if one... If you were in the hotel, you would know, wouldn't you? No, because I don't pay attention to that. Like, as soon as I got in well, my room, it, your it, name, it left... I can tell you what room you're in. I don't care what room I'm in. <laughs> Just like, oh. is nobody else complaining about the power being off? No, not a single person. Weird. I definitely, because I went around and knocked on a few doors. And I asked them. Okay, um, is there anything I can help you with? Um, I, what, what, uh, are, is there room numbers here, three digits or four digits? There's three. Oh, why does 215 not work? Because it's not a room number. Where where do they start at? Are they all 100s? Sir, if you could just walk outside, you would understand. Me, I'm I'm on the toilet. (laughs) Right. So you're calling me from the toilet asking me if you could go into our maintenance area and you don't know what room you're in. Correct. Right. Well, could, maybe you could call back when you're not on the toilet. Okay, and when I'm not high. Yeah, probably. I'm, I'm smoking weed in here because there's a fan. You're smoking weed in our hotel bathroom. Because there's a fan. There's a fan up there, so that means you're allowed to smoke. Because the smoke detector is out in the regular room, so I shut the door. Okay, well, goodbye, sir. Oh, goodbye to you too, ma'am. I love you. (laughs) Okay, that didn't work out how I had hoped. I need an angry man to listen to my bullshit about electricity. And what could their room numbers possibly be? Like, they're three digits. There's two stories I could see in the picture of the hotel. It's a two-story hotel. But they're telling me 215 is not a room number. They start at 900 or something. Thank you for calling Hotel Every. How may I help you? Hello, I'm a guest here in your hotel. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm about to uh, do a toaster test on the bathtub. Okay. So I've got an extension cord and a toaster. I filled up the bathtub with water, and I just want to make sure that it's safe. I want to, you know, make sure the GFI breaker thingy it turns off. Exactly, I didn't understand your question. You are in which room right now? 215. 215. So, you want to fill the bathtub with water, right? Oh, I've already filled it with water, all the way up. But uh, don't overflow it. Oh, no, no, I won't overflow it. I'm going to turn on a toaster, and I'm going to throw the toaster into the bathtub. Just to make sure it's safe. I don't know. Just mean I will call you back. You, you know a toaster, right? Right. 
What the heck? He hung up on me. Is he really going to call me back? Okay, I need a man that can understand me. And he knows what a toaster is. That's what I need. So, Brian, this is Heather. How may I help you? Hey, Heather. I'm staying in a room right now. I have a question. Okay. Uh, the, these, uh, the, the outlets, you know, the electrical outlets in the room? Mm-hmm. They're not grounded. So I've been uh, taking them out of the walls and grounding them. What room are you in? And 215. Okay, you you can't do that, honey. Well, why not? It's no, it's safer now. They they weren't. You're gra- in what room? They weren't grounded before, man. Wait a minute. What room are you in again? I think it's two fifteen. No, it's not. What's your name? Well, one fifteen. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We don't right? have a one fifteen. What's is, your name? Is it okay if I just go around the hotel and check the other outlets? What like, is your name, ma'am? Don't yell at me. I just want to check the other outlets and make sure. What is your name? Make sure they're grounded because it's unsafe. What? Okay. What is your name? Roy. Roy what? No, it would be a Roy who. I'm, I'm a person. Not a, I'm, okay, well, come not on a, up to the office. No, I'm come not doing office. anything you say. I'm going to finish rewiring my room. And what room are you in? I, well, you don't believe me the first time I told you, so why am I going to... Well, because you said you was in a room and you're not in that room, and then the other room we don't have, so what room are you in? What other room? 215? You're not in room 215. There's nobody in that room. There's Oh, there's nobody in that room. Well, I'm in that room. I have squatter's rights. Oh, really? Well, you, you're going to go to jail. Oh, you're going to go to jail. For, okay, uh, well, well, how about you bring your ass right on down the office, and I'll show you something. What are you going to show me? <laughs> so these calls, I, I've written down like a list of things I want to say to people based on this uh, YouTube video I watched by a guy named Electro Boom. You may have seen him before. He's, you know, somewhat popular. He gets featured on tech blogs and stuff. But he just does a lot of uh, electrical things, and he's very educational. Teaches you all about electronics, and he's always accidentally shocking himself. I mean, pretending to accidentally shock himself. And, uh, you know, he's the guy with the eyebrows. But one of the things he's done uh, two times now. First he did it in Hawaii, and then uh, I think he was in Cuba or something. Or, or some other country, I don't know. But uh, he brings a bunch of equipment with him to his hotel room. He's there with his whole family, his wife and kid, and... They have to uh, put up with him fucking with all the electrical stuff and sometimes blowing fuses and shutting off power to several other rooms. Actually, that only happened once. But he does some crazy shit. I mean, kind of crazy. Not that crazy, but I think to the average hotel employee, it would seem a bit crazy that he's uh, testing out their electrical systems and finding out which outlets aren't grounded and messing around with electrical panels. So I just want to do a few of these. I want to call up hotels and assure them that I know what I'm doing when it comes to electricity. And by the way, I don't. I like I'm bad at electricity stuff. I'm interested in it. I'm just, you know, not that great at it. Kind of like hacking. I don't know how to hack shit. So, you know, don't yell at me if I get anything wrong. I only know the basics. Okay. I'm pretty not going to help you. Hello. I have a question about my room. I'm a guest here. Yeah, what's the room number? And well, I don't. It's not actually in the room. Uh, I just need to oh, know yeah. where can I find the the main electrical panel in the hotel. Can I ask why? Oh, I'm just gonna shut off uh, just just the breaker that controls you know my hallway because I have to rewire a couple of these outlets in my room. So I can't do that for you. Oh well, do, like do we do we not have breaker boxes inside our rooms? Seems like a lot of hotels no. have them inside the room. No, so we, we can't do that. Oh, no, it's it's fine. I, I can do it without turning off the power. You just got to be really careful with those wires and, like, don't scrape yeah, them. Yeah, no, please, please don't mess with wires in your room, please. Well, they're not in my room. They're kind of in the wall. Um, a, a couple of them were, were not grounded. You know, the... the where where, the where are you at? In my room. What what's your room number? Two fifteen, I think. But what's like, what's the last name? Uh, it's probably I don't know. It's probably under uh, Kevin. I don't know Kevin's last name. But um, like, are these are these outlets supposed to be grounded? That's what I was mainly wondering about. Because like a couple uh, of them were. You shouldn't be messing with any of our wires at all. Well, ma'am, a couple of them were, the, were grounded, but a couple of them are not grounded. Are you on the second floor right now? Yeah, yeah, and, and also these are twenty amp outlets. Are you in the hallway? No, no, I'm in my room. 
But I, I don't have a Kevin. I don't have a Kevin staying here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Like I'm. I, I wanted to know: Can I go out later and and fix some of the hallway outlets too? Because those were also not grounded properly. No. And one one of them was reversed. That, no. So all maintenance is done by the maintenance of this hotel. We don't let guests do that. I well, no. I've already done it in my room. I've taken apart two of the outlets and uh, grounded them. Like the ground wire just wasn't hooked up. Your maintenance guy's lazy. But you still can't be messing with wires in the room, sir. No, it's cool. I, I know what I'm doing. Like That's what I'm saying about the 20-amp outlets. Th- this is 14-gauge wire. You're not supposed to have 20-amp outlets hooked up to 14-gauge wire. Was the maintenance guy retarded? Uh, no, they're not. That's rude of you to say. Um, What's well, rude of him to put my life at risk with these 20-amp outlets? Th- well, this building is up to code, so I mean... If there's any oh, I don't know about that. that. I have to go with this. That would have, well, we just had our inspection, so um, that would have to be up to the inspection people then. Well, do the inspection people not open up the, the electrical outlets and look at the wiring? Is this wiring um, 14 I, I, gauge, I don't know ma'am. because I don't follow that, them around. That's, I, why I I wanna, your name? that's why I want to go to the main breaker box. I want to see if it's actually a, a 20 amp circuit. Because if it's not no, a 20 so amp I can't, circuit. I can't let you in there. Either way, it's, it's dangerous because this is a 20 amp outlet. Yeah, can I, can I get your name? Ma'am, you can't run 20 amps on 14 gauge wire. Yeah, can I get your name? Sure, it's Roy. Can, Roy. Well, I'm not in the computer. Oh, it, it don't matter. We just have, we, I can bring this complaint to my management and let them know, and they okay. can take care of it for well, you. Well, is there an electrical room on each floor of the hotel? Information to you. Oh, I'm sorry. You cut out there. What happened? I'm not going to disclose that information to you. Okay. Well, would it just be the doors that are not labeled with room numbers? Sir, all of our doors are locked that need to be locked. Do not go open any other doors. If you do, I will have to kick you out. Ma'am, I have a lock pick set. If you pick the locks on my door in this hotel, I will call the cops and I'm, you will be arrested. I'm not going to turn off everyone's power, but the problem... I don't care what you do. You're not allowed to touch that stuff. Ma'am, the problem is if, if I accidentally, you know, touch a couple wires while I'm in here redoing these outlets, then it's going to shut off the whole the whole hallway. You should not be touching any wires in the room, period. That is my maintenance's job. You do not work here. You are not allowed to touch those things. Oh, I'm qualified. I, I've, got, I've brought tools. I, I don't care that you're qualified, I but you're not hired by this hotel. Everything. But you're not hired by this hotel, so you don't need to be messing with anything. Okay. Well, is it okay? Ma'am, I actually got into the breaker room already, and I turned one of the breakers off, but I put a couple of copper pennies in there instead. Uh, she hung up. I think just because she's frustrated, not because she thought I was full of shit because of the copper pennies thing. That's pretty good. I got yelled at pretty good there. I guess I don't actually need a man to yell at me on the phone about electrical stuff. Here I was being all sexist, and I didn't even need to be. Thank you for calling Santa Day. Can you please hold? Um, I, I'm a guest here already, though. Okay, I'm sorry. I have a guest and, right in front of me. Oh, yeah, but maybe you should have answered the phone then, you know? Maybe make them hold. Can you ask that guest in front of you to hold? Just put your finger up in front of their face. Okay. What? This is where you're at. You're going to go right here, and this here is the information. Hey, hey, you did, you're still talking to them. Ma'am. Yes, sir, how can I help you? Oh, Oh, uh, what? Yes, sir, go ahead. Oh, I thought you said something else completely different. That was weird. Um, Yes, sir, go ahead. Oh, you know how we have breaker boxes in our room? Uh, you know, the mm-hmm. controls all the electrical. Yes, sir. Okay, so one of one of my neighbor's um, power outlets, it's being controlled by my breaker box. So I'm rewiring that right now. I, I'm uh, unplugging his plug from my breaker box, and I'm hooking it up to his breaker box. I'm just hooking it up to another one of his outlets in his room, in the wall. Okay. Is that cool? I mean, I don't really know anything about that, so I can't really say if it is or isn't. Oh, it's, it's like the electrical wiring inside the wall. I'm changing yeah, it. I, I, I'm changing it all. No, I'm just changing the thing because um, it's wired to my, my breaker box, and I don't want to get charged for his electricity. What room are you in? 215. 215? Yeah. We don't have a 215. Are you sure you called the right property? Well, I thought that it's something 15, and I'm on the second floor. What's your last name? Oh, that doesn't matter. It wouldn't be under my name. It's under my roommate's name. 
Okay, what's his last name? I don't know. Ma'am, I have a question. Is it okay? Well, you wouldn't get charged for the electricity, sir. Okay, well, I'm fixing it anyway, because that was a little weird. Because I was flipping my breakers on and off, and he heard me through the wall, I guess, and came over and knocked and told me to cut it out, because it was flashing his lamp. Okay, what room are you and, in? Can you look outside your door and check? Oh, is it 1215 then? We don't have a 15 at all. There's no 15s in the entire hotel? No. 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 Nothing ends with 1-5? What no. what what format are the is the numbers in? What room are you in? That would be better information. I'm I'm in the bathroom, ma'am. I'm in the bathroom. Okay, but, so is there anything that I can help you with? Well, what what format are the rooms in? Sir, is there anything else that I can help you with? Would he, you like to speak to our chief engineer? I can transfer you to his vo- his line, and you can. Speak oh, his okay. voicemail. Yeah, you slipped up there and told me you're going to send me to his voicemail. Well, I'm not nice sure if he's try. there or not. So if he's not, mm-hmm. you'll reach his voicemail. Yeah, right. Later, then he'll answer. Just tell me what. Like, give me an example room number. What do they look like? Okay, hang on just a second. I'll transfer you to his what? line. To, to his voicemail. Thank you. <laughs> That mailbox is full and cannot accept any new messages. Please try mm-hmm. again at another time. Thanks a lot, lady. Thanks for calling in the hall this week. I hope I'm at least speaking. Hey there, I'm a resident here. I'm staying here, you know? Yes, sir. And I just need to find out, um, the, these GFI... Oh, hold on. So, someone's calling me back. This is a, this. It's not a good time, sir. I can't talk. Okay, I'm going to call back and I think it's that last lady. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Roy? Yeah. Hi, yeah. So we're just calling back. Uh, seems like we just disconnected. Um, we're just trying to get all that information you oh, can wait, give us wait, about th- that room. Disconnected. I, I think you transferred me to a uh, voicemail that was completely full. Uh, our voicemail isn't full, so and oh. we don't have any voicemail oh, right you're now. you're the one from before. Um, okay, whatever. I'm sorry, what did you need? I, I'm in the middle of doing some rewiring here. Yeah, we wanted to know your room number just so we could let maintenance know and they can take a look um, and oh. get that room all situated with them. Oh, no, I've, I've, everything's taken care of. I don't need anyone to look at anything. It's no, that's okay. That, that It's just to have for their records. Um, they're, they're, they just need to put it in their records. So they just need to oh, this time it's for is. the records? It's not so they can come up here and look at all my stuff? I mean, they'll look at it, but it's going to go in their records that it was fixed. I'll just tell you when I check out. I mean, you could just tell me now. I'm not going to be here when you check out. Oh, I'll just tell the person. Well, I just won't do anything then. It'll just whatever, you know. Well, they're not going to know. They're not going to know what you're talking about. That's why I figured I'd call because they're not going to know. I'm getting ready to 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 toaster test the GFI. To what? Toaster test the GFI. Did I tell you that before? I don't know what that means, sir. Oh, I'm filling up the bathtub, and I've got an extension cord hooked up to an old '80s toaster. I'm going to throw it in the bathtub. And and just make sure that it trips the GFI, just for safety. Ma'am? I'm still here. I'm listening. I was just waiting, listening to you explain it to me. Oh, that's a weird long pause at the end. Okay, well, I'm going to go finish toaster testing the GFI. Hey, I, I, I just need to know what room you're in. Um, Isn't it 215? I mean, if you're gonna throw a toaster in the, if you're gonna throw a toaster in my bathtub, I'm gonna have to call the police. No, don't call the just, police. Just for safety concerns. Oh no, that's what this is all about. It's all about safety, because you know after yeah, those. Yeah, no, I, I still need but, to know that room After number. those outlets weren't grounded, I just decided to test everything, and I'm but not. Your name was what was your name again? I'm sorry, I have Mr. Roy. What was that last name? I think I, I missed it. Oh, I don't think I ever said it to you, because the room oh, I, the room wouldn't be under my name. I have Elliot. Is that right? I, that's what I thought I heard. Yeah, Roy Elliot. Anyway, like, um, I, I'm just, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, after the, the grounded outlets were not grounded, I, I just decided to toaster test the GFI. It's no big deal. And I, I know what I'm doing. It's not going to hurt. I'm, I'm doing this for safety. So, so a real accident doesn't happen. You are, you are staying at the Comfort Inn and Suites, correct? Uh, yes. And Yeah. Do you know the address by any chance? Because there's two of us. 
Um, is I think I think it was on drive. I think that's where I am. All right. Well, you're getting giving me weird, awkward silences again. So I'm hanging up. Hey. Have a nice day, man. Hey, hey. What? We just want to know what room you're in. That way we make sure we have everything squared away in the system. Oh, weird. A minute ago, you said you're going to call the police on me. Now, all of a sudden, you just want to make sure things are squared away. Bathtub, yeah, we, we just want to make sure okay, you're okay. Well, oh, no, I'm not going to hurt myself. I have rubber-soled shoes. Well, we just want to make sure that you don't get injured. I'm not going to get injured, ma'am. While doing this. Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm really old. And I've done a lot of crazy I mean, things. Most, most, most electricians don't throw toasters in the bathtub to check and make sure things are working. That's yeah, why we're yeah, a that's, concerned. That's why nobody knows if they're working or not. Because they don't do actual uh, real-life tests. All right. Weird, awkward. Okay, there she goes. She gave me a weird, awkward silence and then hung up. And did she give me a name on a room? Elliot? Or did she really think I said that? This is kind of fun. I like doing electrical work at hotels. I think I need to do much more of this. And I don't know if that was the last lady I talked to or the lady before. I forget which hotel I was even in the middle of calling. I think it was this one, and I rudely hung up on that guy. Hey, I'm a guest staying here. And, okay. Um, I'm in the electrical room, and I was wondering, like, these breakers, they're not really labeled that well. I'm trying to figure out the one that goes to my hallway. Okay, you need to talk to Z. Did he leave you his phone number? Oh, no, I don't. I'm, I'm just a guest here. I don't know your employees. Why are you in my breaker room? Oh, I was trying to figure out which breaker to press, because I just want to shut off uh, the breakers in my room and in, in my hallway. It'll probably shut down some of my neighbor's rooms, too. But, Where are you? Why are you wanting to cut a breaker off? Oh, because I'm going to, I need to rewire the electrical outlets in the room. Some of them weren't grounded. Yeah. Are you in a, are you contracted with us? No, no, I'm just a guest here. I'm, I'm staying, I live in North. How did you get in, how did you get in the room? Uh, the breaker room. I used a butter knife. You just stick it. Oh, no, honey, you have to come out of that room and come to my desk. Oh, no, ma'am, I just, I, I was hoping you could tell me which number of breaker it is. No, sir. I need you to come to my desk. Ma'am, none of these are labeled. Should I just try them all? No, I want you to leave that room that you broke into it. I want you I, to come to my desk. I didn't break in. I'm just, I'm rewiring the electrical outlets because you didn't have them grounded. And, and that's Sir, not, that's not safe. if you're a get, what room are you in? Well, I'm, not, I'm in the breaker room. The electric what room did you, what room are you staying in? Um, well, I don't even know offhand. It's written on my key card and it's a little dark in here. So just, I'm just going to try. What is your last name? I'm going to try. No, try stop. <laughs> I'm going. What is your last name? Hold, hold on. Let me do this. Just to, what is your. No, I, stop flicking those. Sir. I, I th oh, that wouldn't turn off. What, the, ma'am, that turned what? off the light in this room. I can't even see this. Let me just. What is your last name? Let me hit some more switches. Sir, what is your last name? Uh, Jerbel? Sir! What? Answer me! Why are you yelling at stop. me? Stop! Okay, I'm because just, I need you to stop I'm doing what you're switching. doing. Oh, oh boy. Oh, what's, oh yeah, you just set oh. up the fire. What is your last name? <laughs> I don't think that's a fire alarm. Hold on, let me switch this. What is your last name? Oh, no, it was just freaking out because that was an important switch. I turned it back Can on. Can you not? Do you not know your last name, sir? I, I told you earlier, Jerbel. But I'm With not, a G? I'm not in the computer, ma'am. Yeah, it's the common spelling. Uh, I just then how? If you're not in my, you're not staying here. Are you screaming? I think I can hear you from downstairs. Sir, are you staying in my hotel? Yes, I am. What is your first name? It, it doesn't matter. I'm not in the room, and I don't need it. What is your first name? I was. I need to go out there and see which which lights I turned off is. Are you getting any complaints? What is your first name? This doesn't control all for all the floors, does it? What is your first name, please? Why are you talking so angry? Because I need to know what your first name is so I can figure out where you're at. Hold on. Sir, yes. what floor are you on? Uh, the second floor. That's where I'm staying. Okay, and wh what's your first name? I'll call back if it doesn't work. I'm just going to try. No, sir. I'm going to try one. What is your 
What is your first name, please? One, one switch at a time. I'm going to try one switch at a time. And hopefully Sir, I'll... what is your first name? Uh, Roy, I already said that. Hold on. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, she hung up. Either she hung up or I hit the switch for uh, the phone system and I disconnected the phone system downstairs. Oops. Sorry, lady. I just spent like 20 minutes looking for uh, sound effects of flipping switches and a uh, buzzer thing and I couldn't find any good switch flipping sound effects anywhere so I, I went to my old song directory the flip all the switches song and there's some really good ones in there I don't remember where I got them but that's where this one came from that's pretty good though that was my first time attempting to use those sound effects it works better than the toilet flushing sound effects when they scream at me to stop I should call her back and let her know I was pranking her just to hear her yell at me some more. Thank you for calling Extended Stay America. This is Sammy. How can I help you? Hey, Sammy. I'm a resident here. I'm, I'm up on the second floor. And um, I'm in the electrical room right now. It's got all the buttons, like all the switches. Yep. You know, up here what? on the second floor. I, I was just wondering, uh, like, do you know which, which these aren't labeled? Uh, the switches. I, I was wondering, do you know which ones will shut off just my room? Uh, what floor are you on? On the second floor. In the building with where the office is? I think so. But I'm, What's I'm, your I'm in, room number? I'm in the electrical room. Like, that has all the, the buzzing panels and stuff. That, I thought, was on the first floor. I Maybe there's one on each floor. I don't know. What room is yours? Two fifteen. So you don't know which okay. which switch might turn off just well not. without looking. No, I don't. Hold on. Oh. Should I just Coming up. Try them all. No. <laughs> Hold on, and I'll be there. Wait, you're coming up to the electrical room. You said you're on the second floor. Yeah, I'm in the electrical room though. I, I locked the door. I'm confused. Should I just try all this? Hold on, I'll try them all. Okay, that, that one turned off the light in this room. I'm going to go run down to my room and see if I turn off my lights. I didn't turn off your lights, did I? I didn't see them flash. Oh, that's So good. what's going on in your room that you're trying to turn off the... Uh, electrical because there's a panel box in each room that controls your oh i know but, but like the oh you're you're you can leave me on speaker while you talk to whoever just picked up hello hello ma'am hello yeah, hold on one second. What, who are you talking to hello who, who are you talking with who's that on the phone who are you calling hello ma'am and let me just keep trying switches here. Try some more switches. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh boy. What, what is that? Ma'am? Ma'am, what's this? What's the light mean? What's the spinning red light mean? Should I? <laughs> she hung up on me in the middle of all of that. She's probably worried that I let all the ghosts out of the containment unit. I can't even hear you. Speak up. Hey, I can't hear you. How may I help you, sir? Oh, bullshit. I'm speaking plenty loud. You speak up, motherfucker. You're stupid. Oh, you're stupid. You motherfucker. Idiot. Uh-uh. No, you're the motherfucker idiot. I'm sure I'm going to turn up the audio a little bit if I keep that one in the show. But just trust me, his audio sounds like shit. I couldn't hear him, but you guys will hear him just fine, probably. Guest services. Hello, I'm a guest here. Yes, how would you like me to assist you? Um, well, I'm in your electrical panel room. In, you know, the electrical room here in the hotel. Uh, which I, room is that? Uh, I don't know. It's got a bunch of electrical panels in it. There's a bunch of switches. I'm up on the second floor. Are you fixing something? No, I was trying to figure out which switch will turn off my room. I want to turn off the power to my room real fast. I'm just going to re, okay. re I'm going to rewire the light fixture. 
you are a guest so, and you want to do the rewire structure? Yeah, I'm just going to rewire the light fixture because you're not going to believe this. They wired it backwards. And I know it doesn't matter because okay. it's just a light bulb, but it um, it's not that is right. Something, I don't it, know how to do that. That is something that I have to call. Oh, I, I know how to do it. It's a common mistake on light switches because, you know, you have to wire one of the wires backwards, basically. You have to tie a white wire to a black wire and a black wire to a black, wait, maybe a white. I don't know. I forget. But I'm going to figure it out. Okay. I just want to make sure. I think it's best if I call engineering in case if anything no. happens to you because we don't want to be liable for anything. Oh, no, no nothing's so going to happen. Just tell everyone to stay out of the electrical room. I'm going to turn off my switch uh, so all, okay. all, what, all the power is off. What's your room number? Uh, two, uh, is it 215? I don't know. I'm in the electrical room. And Okay, so you I'm, are a guest with us, but you are in the electrical room? Yes, yes, the door was very... No, let me let me call engineering, because you uh, are not even supposed to be in the electrical room, so I, I, need I, to, I have to call okay, engineering. Okay, I'm, I'm going to start flipping the switches. Here we go. Flipping them. Oh, there we go. Flipping all okay, the... Okay, sir, all these. what you are... Okay, okay. What? What? Okay, I have to call security because... Oh, no, 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 don't call security. I, I got to run down to my room, and I'm going to see if my... If my no, because if you are in the electrical room as a guest, you are not even supposed to be there. But I already have my light switch uh, taken out of the wall. But I, just, I understand, I do understand, but for safety for the hotel and for you, you are not supposed to be in the electrical room doing like switching off because I, it might affect other rooms. So I, I have to call security. Ma'am, it's ma okay, I'll I, just let... I, I, I know I'll, you're saying to yourself, why doesn't he just turn off the light switch? That'll cut the power. But no, uh, the power comes in from the light and then okay, it, it, it goes put, down I, to the switch. All right. Can I place on a brief hold? Uh, no, not if you're going to call security. No. Okay, I'll ask security well, I, I to just, come in. I, here, I'm going to turn the switches back on because I hear somebody yelling out there. They're angry because I turned off their room. Hello. I'm, I'm, hello. I'm I'm turning the switches back on that I just turned off because I I think someone out there is angry. Well, who am I talking to? I'm sorry. Oh, is this a new person? Um, I was talking to that lady before. Because I'm in your electrical room. I'm a guest here. Okay. There's an electrical and room. You're not, what do you mean you're in our electrical room? Well, it's this room. It's got all these big gray boxes, and they're all making buzzing sounds. And I can, you're in? I can open up the panels, and there's all these switches. And I don't know which one turns off my room. Like you're not supposed to be in there if you're a guest here. I know. Hold but, on, just a moment, ma'am. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna cut I, my I, meat. No, I gotta rewire the light switch in my room, so I just want to shut off the power for a minute. No, you're not supposed to be doing that. Let me get. Hold on. Where, which floor are you? Ma'am, the polarity is backwards on the light switch. Hold and, on, just and, a moment. And you know that's bad for LED bulbs. I S think, sir. What? Hold on. Let me finish taking care of these two young ladies, and let me get right back with you. Oh, okay. Oh no, I was first. I was first. Uh, no, tell, you were not. Hold can on, you just tell a those, moment. Can you, can you tell those two young ladies just to hold? Just tell them to hold. Say, please no, hold. No, I cannot. Oh, why can you do it to me? Hold on. What? Do they have more money than me? What's going on, sir? Oh, another person. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm in the electrical room, you know, that's got all the electrical panels in it. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which which switch turns off my room. So I I put I put a uh, a loud stereo on in my room. I've got a blasting. I hope nobody's complaining about it. But I can hear it from the electrical room here where I am. And I'm just trying to flip switches until I hear my loud music shut off. Where's the uh, radio mark? So here, oh, me, okay. I'm going to flip these switches. What floor are you on, sir? On the second floor. On the second floor, do me a favor, sir. Please don't don't flip switches. Please well, stop. Well, please, I, please, I'm, please stop. I know, I'm, I know, I'm just, I know. But you're just a gift. Did, please stop hitting the switches. Okay. Well, did she tell? Okay. Did she tell you uh, that my light switch was wired backwards? The polarity is reversed. Ma'am, I, I, sir, I understand that. What I'm trying to tell you is, please don't hit the switches without being properly well, I've monitored. Well, I've just turned off a bunch of switches. Should I turn them back on? Did I turn off the lights down there? You did not. But please, <sighs> but. Yeah, just let's just let's just not touch them. What room are you in? What what is your actual room? I can hear someone out in the hall yelling, "Hello, hello!" So I think the power is off in the hallway. I should probably get going and and just narrow down which switch is mine. And 
I just want to rewire my my my. Um, I know, but sir, you can't do that on your own. Is I, what I'm saying. So you you will have to oh, no, I've get already, out of the electrical room. Well, I've, I already remove taken, yourself from the electrical room, sir. I, I've taken the light switch out of the wall already. It's just all. Are you in the electrical room currently? Yes, but I should turn on these switches. I should turn them back on, right? Please. Okay. Let's. Ooh. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna send engineering up there and just hang hang tight. Oh oh, oh what what's that? What's that? All right, re redo it, redo oh, it. Oh okay. Uh, let me, uh, oh god, there I'm, you go. I'm sweating. All now. right, just just come out, my friend. Just okay. come out. That way you don't do anything and okay. you don't mess up anything. What what is your what's your actual room out. number? Oh, it's wait. I already turned flip that one back. off. Flip that back. Okay. Flip, flip it back. Which Tell one? Did it. Which one? Which one do I Which flip? Which one you just flipped? Oh god. Okay. There oh. you go. Stop <laughs> touching them all. Stop. Sir. Oh my god, that's so much fun. But unlike when they're screaming at me to stop flushing the toilet. Oh, it just hung up. You know, I can actually hear them because there's no toilet sounds. So that's the cool thing about that part. All I'm doing is flipping switches and setting off buzzers. I am definitely going to do this again. That was so much fun. But I think for now, I'm just going to call it a night. We're going to be done right after this quick half hour of voicemails. Hey, Brad, I just wanted to congratulate you on turning 800. Woo! 800 snowplow shows. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let, let's, let's give them a cheer. Come on, guys. Do it, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, bye. Thanks, Despicable Dogs. Hey, Brad. It's Eric from Michigan. Just want to Hello. congratulate you on 800 episodes. I have been a listener since exactly on when you released episode 700 oh, so yay. it's been a great 100 episodes with you and i look forward to listening to you until you reach a thousand episodes okay congratulations again i might just stop at 999 because if i do a thousand then it's gonna mess up the whole numbering format i mean the whole filing format i guess it won't actually will it because i have the date in there too and the file name maybe we'll be okay to keep going past 999 We'll see. Hey, Roy, I was wondering if you would do some of those Roy Co. construction calls with either roofing or uh, just construction in general, removing joists with okay. the hammers and the saw. That stuff's funny. I yeah. I haven't heard that in a while. Well, at least I did sound effects today. It's been a while since I've thrown sound effects into a call. All right, I'm going to do one more voicemail. I think that's going to be four total. But it's getting late. I got to hurry up and edit this so I can get this done tonight. And that way I can do something else tomorrow and not just this a whole bunch. You know, I remember in episode like 400 and something, you said, oh, it'll never get to episode 1,000. That'll never happen. I'll stop before then. Mm -hmm. But you're shaking in your boots now, huh? I am. I think it'll be really funny if you just stopped at episode like 998, made a new show just to piss everyone off. That's weird. It's like he was... Listening in on my conversation before about stopping at 9.99, fucking creep. So thank you to the sponsors of today's show: Matt Chu, Jose T, Twelve Annuals, Salt Teddy, and Lil Uzi Vert. Everyone who supports this show is awesome, but especially those five. If you'd like to support the show, it's Patreon.com/slash Phone Losers, or there's a couple of other things in the description, like Spotify and Apple. A lot of people are using those to support the show now. So uh, thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time, which will probably be a hobo sode. I think I need to do some more of these electrical calls. By the way, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments of wherever you're listening to this. And maybe I'll steal your ideas. Also, go watch Electro Boom on YouTube. He's amusing. Unless you think he's boring, then he's probably really boring to you. Circle K, Pam speaking. Hello, Pam. It's Roy Gerbel. Yes. I'm calling you from the corporate cell. Okay. There's a problem you need to know. Your system's down and the network's slow. Oh, great. Every time you make a sale, the board lights up and the hard drive fails. But don't worry, we can make it stop. Head to the back and find the breaker box. Okay, now just you listen. You need to flip all the switches. All of them? We're resetting the system. I'm scared to do this. Flip all the switches. <laughs> we'll fix this now. We need your help. This is a part of working in retail. Okay, then. Don't you worry. 
we're almost through. Open the door, label panel two. Okay, now just you listen. We gotta do this now. You need to flip all the switches. All of these in front of me? We're resetting the system. Well, what system are you trying to reset? Flip all the switches. I know you hear alarms going on. Am I supposed to be doing this? And you think you need to call your boss. Customers, keep coming in. <laughs> keep your focus and please ignore them. This is the worst problem I've ever seen. Oh, great. Now it's affecting all of the machines. We've got one last chance to gain control. Hold on, then. Find the door labeled 900 volts. Okay, now just you listen. You need to flip all the switches. We're resetting the system. It's going to shut the whole store down. Flip all the switches. It's okay, ma'am. The lights went out. Look, there went the light. The circuit's waiting for another route. I can't see anything. Keep flipping all the breakers down the road. Four, five, oh shit, six. you're on a cordless spot. Hello? Now do I turn them back on? Yes, ma'am, you turn them back on. Uh, hold on, then. Every, every time you turn one on, you have to tell me that you turn it on. You have to say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it looks like everything's back on. I'm checking the board now, and as a matter of fact, some of the lights are now turned from red to green. So it's actually working. And I'm green on that it's side? Looks like, yes, ma'am. It's, it's a very successful job. You've done a very good job. Have yourself a cup of coffee on the house. I, I've never ha I've worked here for over a year, and I've never had anybody call me in the middle of the night and have me do that. So, it so. happens from time to time, ma'am. It rarely happens, but it does happen. Okay. So all of my computers and everything will all come back up and everything? Yeah, it might it's take like about two or three hours, but they will come back up. Okay, then. So it's okay for us to hang up then? Yeah. <laughs>